I love my job. I have the job of oversighting all of the medical care and advising across all of Afghanistan. And I know that probably sounds like a huge job, but I have incredible people. And when I say my people, I mean the, the medical advisors across the Jeroa. They go out two, three, four times a week to engage with their counterparts in order to assist this country to improve its healthcare system. And I can't imagine a better job because this is capacity building, this is sustainment, this is a future for this country that will help it to remain stable. That's what I'm proud of. I have intelligent people who want to make a difference, who have seen systems of healthcare in other countries, and so they're doing all their own medicine. They don't need us, and in fact, um, even when uh, we're asked to help in some areas, often all I do is connect the Afghan to an Afghan within their own medical system because they weren't aware of it. So that's one of the pieces that we're working on as well is to get them more interconnected within that civilian military. Even though they no longer need assistance in the operating room, the healthcare system is almost entirely funded by international donors. Therefore, continued funding from abroad as well as administrative advising conducted by resolute support is vital to the progression of the medical system in Afghanistan. Our continued support without our continued assistance either with advising or with funding, then there's a whole nation who won't be able to know that their children aren't going to get sick from something as simple as measles.